Welcome to the series where in 21 days I'm overcoming 21 creative obstacles and today is day four. What I know for sure is that by the end of the series I will be fed up up to here with the word creative. I will try to avoid it at all costs, but how do you call something where you are making something out of nothing? Basically, when you are making a dinner, but not every art involves cooking. Even though I call the series a creative blog, a blog is this energy or mindset where you are stopped. You are not moving forward. What happens in my case is that those blocks come as a shadow and I become aware of them. Sometimes I'm a little bit delayed and sometimes I just become aware. Hmm, I used to think that it used to be an issue, but it is not anymore. Today's obstacle is need for approval, need for acceptance. When we are making something, we want people to accept it in some way, to like it, to approve it. Some people make art that is more provocative. I am in no danger of making a provocative art unless I put together two colors that don't match. Other than this, I don't touch those provocative, uh, controversial subjects. But when we are making anything, we want other people to like it. And that is a problem. Of course, when you are making a dinner, you want other people to like your dinner, not completely reject it and throw it out the window. Acceptance, approval, create this sense of harmony. So I connected it to the third chakra, the solar plexus chakra, one of the three chakras of survival. As much as I do not want to admit that I care about what other people may think about what I'm doing. This is how I know that it still shows up for me. I'm showing somebody my painting and I am explaining myself. Oh, you see here, I painted something like this, but you know, it's my first painting after so much time. And I know that it looks, oh my gosh, no, no, this is exhausting. But at the same time, there are things I have done that I absolutely do not need approval of, and I'm not even interested, like this one. So I drew this thistle, I colored it, and I left some areas blank because this is how I want it. I am not interested in anybody's opinion if it should look in any other way. And why is it? This is how it works. If I have a painting that I have an issue with and I'm afraid that other people will judge it, will judge my painting and judge me and my skills, this is because I am judging my painting. And with other things, I approve it completely. I don't judge it. And if anyone was to judge it, I would say, okay, and what do I do with it? And if somebody would insist that I have to change something, I would say, no, go ahead and draw your own thistle. This fear of rejection, fear of judgment, the need for approval comes from the survival brain. It's not even a conscious thought. It comes from the deep subconscious. We have a need to be approved and accepted because that means belonging and judgment means rejection. I connected with the solar plexus chakra and this is a chakra of self-esteem. If you have strong self-esteem, if you believe in yourself and your work and you approve it 100%, then the fear of judgment is almost non-existent. You don't even think about other people's approval of you or your work. In my long journey through making things and putting them out there, sometimes at a very mediocre level, I created for myself this one powerful statement that has the power to dissolve my fear of judgment. And it's this, I need to stand behind my work 100%. If I have any doubts looking at my work or creating my work, it doesn't matter 
those thoughts dissolve. Those are no longer obstacles. And this thought, I need to stand behind my work 100%, dissolve self-doubt and dissolve doubts in my work. Now, would I listen to feedback from the right person? Yes, I would. I can listen to feedback from this unshakable place of believing in my work. One thing that I just recalled about the need for approval is I mentioned the case when I was sharing a painting with my friend and I felt this, this feeling inside, oops, maybe I should explain myself and then I will be judged less harshly. But if we are not aware that the need for approval is there, it is going to drive our work. And this is what will slow us down. These are really those big obstacles that get in the way. So be true to your vision and first have the vision and then stand behind it 100%. Mm, that feels really good. If you like this video, please click the like and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.